Right now at 6.30, college commencements across the U.S. are kicking off this month, but they come at a time where thousands of demonstrators are protesting on college campuses over the war between Israel and Hamas. More than 2,000 people have been arrested on college and university campuses since April 18th. Some of those include Columbia, where the protest movement started, a protest there, and arrested over 100 protesters. Just one of many schools where administrators are working to clear protest encampments ahead of graduation. Stay out of the street and remain on the sidewalk. Defiance dismantled. Portland State University closed today as officers there moved to clear a heavily barricaded library taken over by student protesters Monday. A number of demonstrators were arrested. Other protesters fled the building and still more spilled into nearby streets. Coast to coast, tensions over similar standoffs are reaching breaking points. Law enforcement from multiple agencies deployed before dawn to forcibly remove a pro-Palestinian protest encampment at UCLA. The sweeping action comes after days of warnings and arrests by authorities. They brought in people with really big guns to disperse the crowd. In. Cops made arrests at the University of New Hampshire Wednesday evening after several students defied police warnings to disperse and instead set up tents. I believe everybody has the freedom to protest and assemble, but the way that they went about it today, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> Hundreds of people were arrested this week also at Columbia University and City College in New York. The NYPD now says nearly half were not affiliated with either school. And the department will keep officers on Columbia's campus, where a large encampment was also demolished through May 17th as graduation events go forward. Closer to home, the State University System of Florida sent a strong message to the 12 presidents of the state colleges and universities. Do not cancel, modify, or delay graduation ceremonies as a result of any protests. In a statement, the system's chancellor writes, while we respect the on and honor of the First Amendment, a commencement ceremony is not the time nor place to hold a political protest. You are authorized to take any steps necessary to ensure the safety of all attendees during the ceremony. While other protests across the country have grown violent, law enforcement officers have not been attacked here in Florida, but more than two dozen people have been taken into custody.